Welcome back. I just want to talk about Daryl Nita from Great Britain and the amazing 2022 season that she had and how it's going to bode well for 2023 as well as the Olympic year in 2024. And Daryl Nita might very likely be the next top sprinter from Great Britain. Now, Nita, going into 2022, she was a pretty top athlete in relative in terms of like top 10 in the world. Um, let's take a look at her personal best coming out of 2021. In the 100 meters, she ran 10.93 seconds last year in 2021. That's a year she also made the Olympic final in the 100 meter dash. In the 200 meters, she had a personal best of 22.81 seconds. And then in the 60 meter dash, had a personal best of 7.21 seconds. Now, just for a little bit of context, let's start off with that 60 meter dash. Now, in the 60 meter dash, at the end of 2021, she was ranked number 10 all time in the 60 meter dash when we're talking about uh, Great Britain women. Number 10 all time, 7.21 seconds, Daryl Nita stood there. Let's look at her season in 2022 in terms of 60 meter first. Now, jumping over, 2022, she really stepped things up. 7.18 seconds and 7.15 seconds to start off her 2022 season for her season opener. Already breaking her personal best, already dropping that down to 7.15 seconds. Huge, huge improvement. Guess what? Competing at the Muller Indoor Grand Prix, her second meet for the year, comes down and takes another chunk off her personal best, improves on her previous personal best, the 7.21 from last year, and drops a whole tenth of a second off that, 7.11 seconds. Next meet, she's in Turin, she's competing in the 60 meter dash again, very consistent, 7.20 and then 7.17. Look at that consistency that she's been throwing down throughout the year. And then finally, she ends things off at the World Indoor Championships, runs 7.13, gets to the semifinals, runs 7.15 seconds. Now, she didn't make it to the finals, unfortunately only finished fifth um, in her semifinal, but all of her races were faster than her personal best from the previous year, 7.21 seconds. Finishing off with a 7.11 second personal best, let's see where that ranks her all time in the um, 60 meter dash when we're talking about Great Britain and Northern Ireland. That moved her up to number four all time in the event for Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Nita already setting off for 2022 on a very high note. Let's move down to that 100 meter dash. Now, first off in the 100 meters, 2021 was a huge year for her, but going back to 2020, let's look at where she stood in terms of 2020 on the all-time list. Number eight all-time. So at the end of 2020, her personal best was 11.12 seconds. That came from 2019. Of course, 2020 was the year off. Let's take a look at where she ended off in 2021 in terms of all-time uh, Great Britain list. Moved all the way up to 10.93 seconds, which she finished off and moved up to number two all time in terms of Great Britain. Dinasha Smith really dominates the list. Uh, she's far and ahead the, the best great uh, Britain sprinter that you know we've seen in the past couple years. But Nita moving up to number two all time. Remember, in 2021, Nita actually made the Olympic final in the 100 meter dash. We could take a look and we could see at Tokyo Olympics, she finished eighth place in that 100 meter dash. Now, she didn't, of course, finish high up. She only ran 11.12 seconds, but to make the Olympic final, she she ran 10.96 seconds for the first time ever, breaking 11 for the first time in those heats of the Olympics. And then right after the Olympics, she went on a sub 11 spree, 10.96 seconds, 10.93 seconds, ending the season off with her personal best. Taking a look at 2022, let's see what she was able to do this year in terms of that 100 meters. Now, diving in, start off her season relatively modest, right? 11.25 seconds um, out in Italy. Got down to 11.12 seconds, though, on her second meet of the year. So really getting close to that um, 11 second barrier. Stayed pretty consistent as we went through the season. But I looked at this performance right here as a big big no 11.09 seconds into a negative 0.8 meter per second headwind this was a huge performance showing that she is on the cusp of 11 seconds and it's only june well guess what comes over to paris competing in the 100 meter dash at the paris diamond league right behind shelly and fraser price Nita comes here and runs 10.99 seconds, breaking the 11 second barrier again early in the season. Remember, in 2021, the first time that she broke 11 seconds, the first time in her career, was in the heats of the Tokyo Olympic Games. So for her to do it early season in a June Diamond League, this was a huge performance and really boded well for what's going to be happening for the rest of the year. Moving a little bit down, 
At the British Championships, she really surprised everyone. She ran 10.92 and 10.80. Both of them were wind aided, so of course those times didn't count, but she actually beat out Dina Asher Smith at this competition. Now, Dina Asher Smith, she was the defending world champion in the 200 meter dash, defending silver medalist in the 100 meter dash from Doha 2019. But for Anita to come here and actually win the UK uh, championship title in the 100, again, windy time of 10.80 seconds, but this showed that she was really stepping things up. Next up, gets those world championships. Heats 10.95 seconds, just two hundredths of a second off her personal best of 10.93. Semifinals, 10.97 seconds. She was the last person to not make it into the final. Finished ninth place overall, unfortunately didn't make that final, but this boded well, showing that she was very, very consistent and competing at another global championship. Moving down though to the Commonwealth Games out in her home country in Great Britain, out in Birmingham, she ran 10.90 seconds, a personal best in the semifinals. This was a huge performance. Now, Elaine Thompson was competing at Commonwealth, so it was still not sure who was actually going to win the gold medal, but she was of course put into that conversation and really confirmed the season that she's been having, the consistency under 11 seconds, and now to get a personal best, really strong performance for her. She got to the finals, she finished third place, not a fast time at all, but for her to get, you know, what you would call a first big global medal at the Commonwealth Games, not World Championships, not Olympics, but this is a huge, huge performance for her to get that third place and get a bronze medal at Commonwealth. Follow that up at Monaco, another time that is almost at her personal best, but faster than her previous best, right? Again, remember, 2021, best was 10.93 seconds, comes here, runs 10.91 seconds, finishes sixth place, but remember, this was the race where Shelly Ann Fraser Price ran 10.6 6.2. We had um, Sharika Jackson running 10.71. I think Talu ran the African record of 10.72. So this was a huge race for um, Darren Lita. Comes again and shows that consistency at the European Championships. 10.95 seconds, gets third place at in the final of the European Championships, just behind Gina Lukin Kemper, as well as uh, Mujinga Kumbunji. Another medal, another global medal, championship medal for Daryl Nita. Finishes off her season 11 flat, 11.02, 11 flat. This was a great 100 meter season for Daryl Nita. Now, let's jump back a little bit and take a look at that 100 meter dash. Again, at the end of 2021, she ran 10.93 seconds as her personal best was number two in Great Britain history. If we take a look at the end of 2022, now again, she's still number two all time, right? Not ahead of Dina Asher Smith, who has that um, national record of 10.83 seconds, but dropping down her personal best a tick to 10.90 seconds and looking at the all time marks for Great Britain. Now, Dina Asher Smith dominates this list. But we're starting to see Daryl Nita put her stamp and put her mark in terms of all time 100 meter dash marks in Great Britain. 10.90, 10.91, 10.93, right? She's really starting to stamp herself. Let's be very clear. You can see it very clearly here. Dean Asher Smith dominates the all time list when we're talking about Great Britain in the 100 meter dash. But Daryl Nita really starting to show herself and put her stamp on the on the event and, you know, coming for something big. Now, just wanna highlight her 200 meter season as well. Remember, I said her personal best was 22.81 seconds at the end of 2021. She opened up and started her season with her personal best, 22.81 seconds. Got a perfect tailwind, 2.0 meters per second. She continued though, got some windy times um, of 22.48, 22.34 to actually win the national championships again. She doubled up, got the both wins at the 100 and 200. And then she finished off her season. Her last race of the season, September 12th, was a 22.61 personal best. This really confirmed the season that she had, the amazing season at 100 meters. Now, 200, of course, is not her marquee event. She's really there in the 100 meter dash. Um, and then, of course, in the 60 meters, this was really an amazing season for her. Also, just want to highlight in terms of the 2022 season, in terms of global, um, where she stood globally, she finished off 16th in the world this year with her 10.90 second performance. Now, it's not top 10, it's not even top 15, right? Just on the cusp of that, but she is really moving up. She's, it's gonna take a lot for her to get into those 10 sixes, right? 10 sevens that a lot of ladies are, are running right now. But I think Daryl Nita is very capable of moving down into the 10 eights and contending with a lot of these different women. So let me know what you think of Daryl Nita. Let me know what you think of her amazing 2022 season. I really think personally that she's going to be a force to be reckoned with going into 2023 and even beyond. Go in the comments below. Let me know what you think of Daryl Nita. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. We'll be back again next time. Thanks.